Good morning, folks. As we mentioned yesterday, the CME impact is due today. It will occur after today's show. But we've got big news before that, so let's come to spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star with the sunspots indeed beginning to depart our view to the right. As they turn, they have also stifled flare production. The one proper CME it did let out the last few days is the one on its way here today. Solar wind up next because that's the real story so far. Plasma speed has dropped under 300 kilometers per second as geomagnetic conditions extend into two days of quiet with 24 hours of KP0. KP0 days are statistically more health affecting than major solar flares and geomagnetic storms. All of you who have the app got the warning a bit ago, and if you have our book, that's in chapter 6. It will end abruptly today when the CME arrives and raises geomagnetic instability. We also have coronal hole streams on the way, so a sharp shift from too quiet to low-level geomagnetic storms is expected. Top weather alert continues to be for Australia, with twin cyclones pounding down from the north. Eyes open, and best of luck in their largest evacuation in 40 years. Let's go north from there, across the waters to Korea. Pretty well official now, their enhanced geothermal system caused their great 2017 quake. Smaller quakes beneath the fracture zone drove right into larger faults, and they ruptured. Folks, you might remember that Ziggy Star Formation article from this past week, and how they are struggling to deal with all the dust. Alma released this incredible shot where the red is the dust, green is oxygen gas, and blue would be the stars in a galaxy 13 billion light years away. Gemini upgrade is pretty serious. In one fell swoop, two levels of advanced viewing were made, leaping way into the deepest field we have an optical light, far more resolvable objects instead of a bright smudge. In an amazing article, we find evidence of Jupiter's formation far, far away from where it is now, four times further from the Sun, and then it migrated inward. This is not only a nice nod to planets in chaos, the stories our ancestors allegedly made up, but it also throws a wrench into many formation theories of how our solar system came to be. Folks, right now the entire astro community is focused on the Astro 2020 surveys, proposals, selections, etc., like this one. Now while this one may further Sophia's great revelation that magnetic fields and plasma turbulence are what's driving star formation in molecular clouds rather than gravity, most of the ones I've seen are nonsensical wastes in the name of dark matter and the standard Lambda model. The Plasma 2020 stuff is a completely different story. I have yet to find a single proposal I don't like. These are the studies that can actually bring scientists closer to the truth. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. CME Impact coming today. It is Saturday, so we've got your weekly podcast coming up in a few hours for website members over at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got wind maps, shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.